The Story of Twelve Richard Avenue, or the House Founded Upon Bricks. Twelve Richard Avenue is located just east of the intersection of Girard and Greenwood Avenue. The legal property description is part of Lot 61 and 62, Plan 386 E, and part of Lot 61, Plan 1480. 12 Richard Avenue is located just east of the intersection of Girard and Greenwood Avenue. The property was originally in an area known as the Township of York. However, part of the street was taken over by the City of Toronto in an annexation which took place in 1890. The dividing line went through Lot 61, Plan 386E, and as a result, for a short time, the property known as 12 Richard Avenue had one foot in the city of Toronto and one foot in the township of York. The property upon which 12 Richard is situated was originally part of a vast farm estate owned by the Ashbridge family, who had immigrated to Toronto from the Susquehanna River Valley region in Pennsylvania in 1796. The Ashbridge Estate ran from what is now Queen Street north to Danforth Avenue and from Greenwood Avenue to Coxwell Avenue. As pressure grew for development in the area, between 1900 and 1925, the Ashbridge family relinquished most of their estate to make way for further development. As part of the selling off of their estate, in 1907, the Ashbridge family sold the land surrounding what is now Richard Avenue to the City of Toronto, which, in turn, sold it to James and George Bell. The Bell brothers were brickmakers, as were a number of individuals in the area at the time. A total of seven brickyards operated in the Leslieville area, most of them located along Greenwood Avenue. The Bells owned the company J&G Bell and built livery stables at the top of the street. The stables remained until around 1919, when the owners at the time, George and Stanley Skipper, converted it into a shop. In 1910, a builder named George Buckner cast his sights on the properties on Richard Avenue. He bought much of the land on the west end of the street, both on the north and south side, and attained several building permits for the site. George, or Geo Buckner as he was known, came from a family of builders headed by the patriarch Charles Buckner. The Buckner boys applied their trade in the east end of Toronto. Construction on the semi-detached house known as 10 and 12 Richard Avenue started in 1912. In the same year, George Buckner sold the property to its first owner, James Rainey, who was a machinist. George Buckner, however, remained intimately connected to 12 Richard Avenue until his death in 1946, mainly through granting mortgages to owners of the property. At the time of his death, Buckner resided at 71 Pape Avenue, the house he built and shared with his father, Charles. He was survived by his wife, Margaret, and two children, Helen and Wilburn. Development began on Richard Avenue around 1909. By 1915, there were up to ten houses at the west end of the street, which remained sparsely populated until after World War II. In 1916, the Rainies sold the property to Wilford and Ruth Trenier. Wilford worked as a chauffeur during the period that the couple owned the house. Substantial development along Richard Avenue did not start until the 20s. The end of World War I and the onslaught of the Roaring Twenties brought prosperity to the area. By then, a large portion of the street had been developed. The Triniers, who bought 
the house in 1916, were part of a growing group of working-class individuals who lived in the area and helped to serve the needs of an expanding Toronto population. In 1925, they sold the house to yet another working-class couple, Jazz and Mabel McDowell. Jazz was a caretaker and Mabel was a bowler who played in professional leagues. While there, it appears they took in boarders as a way of adding to their single income, as did many working-class individuals at the time. During this period, the city provided hard infrastructure, such as sewers and water lines, for the increasing Leslieville population. The city was also interested in providing the community with a much-needed recreational facility. Thus, in 1919, land was purchased, and in 1920, Greenwood Park officially opened. It began with not much more than a clubhouse, which is still in existence, and a very large baseball diamond. Greenwood Park has seen many transformations over the years. In the 1930s, the lawn bowling green and tennis courts were added. The 1950s saw the building of a swimming pool and hockey rink. Later, a soccer field was added. Most recently, in 2007, the community rallied together to create a designated off-leash area for dogs in the southwest corner of the park. When buying the house at 12 Richard Avenue from the Treniers, the McDowells received a mortgage from George Buckner, as had previous owners. The McDowells did not stay long, selling the house in 1927. Whether they defaulted on the mortgage or merely decided to sell the property is unclear. What is clear is that in 1927 the house fell back into the hands of Geo Buckner. In 1929, the stock market crashed. George Buckner still owned the house, and perhaps unable to sell it, he rented it out. Most of the tenants were single working class men. Some of these included a boiler man, a driver, and a butcher. In 1938, the Buckners advertised for tenants. The neighborhood faltered during the Depression, and development of Richard Avenue slowed down. However, as a result of World War II, the Canadian economy bounced back and Richard Avenue began to thrive once again. In 1940, according to the city directory, house numbers on the north side of the street ranged from 4 to 40 and on the south from 1 to 21. By 1945, the range of house numbers had expanded, 4 to 52 on the north side and 1 to 43 on the south. It was during this period that the house next to 12 Richard, number 14, was built. The economic boom brought good fortune to the Buckner household once more. In 1942, George Buckner was able to grant a mortgage and sell the house to Mike and Vuka Stepanov. Mike was a truck driver and Vuka was a housewife. Interestingly, in 1946, Mike Depanov appeared before a wartime commission looking into the black market sale of meat. Stepanov testified that he was ordered by two separate employers to collect monies over and above the allowed wartime ceiling price for meat. By the time he testified, he had either quit or been fired from his job as a truck driver. In subsequent assessment roles, his employment was listed as laborer. As had others before them, the Stepanovs rented out at least one room during their tenure at 12 Richard. This is substantiated by the assessment records for 1949, which lists five residents for the address. As well, the Stepanovs advertised for tenants in the Toronto Daily Star in March 3, 1953. In 1946, when George Buckner passed away, the Stefanov mortgage was discharged by the Buckner estate. In 1955, the house was sold to Stanley and Leona Boyle. Mike Stefanov's date of death is unknown. Vuka died in 1978, survived by one daughter, Marie. At the time that they bought the house, Stanley was employed as a taxi driver and Leona was a housewife. There were six residents at 12 Richard at the time. In 1962, Stanley and Leona handed over the property to a Rosalie Boyle. 
Rosalie is listed in the city directory of the time as living at 12 Fulton Avenue and as being the widow of the late William C. Boyle. According to the records, she retained the property until 1972. Assessment records indicate William and Phyllis Hawkins were the property owners as of 1963. However, according to the land registry records, the Hawkins did not buy the property from Rosalie Boyle until 1972. What is clear is that the Hawkins moved into 12 Richard after Stanley and Leona moved out and that they assumed ownership of the property eventually. William was a window cleaner and Phyllis was a housewife. They lived in the house for 24 years. In the 1960s, the neighborhood took on a slightly different character with the arrival of a large number of Italian and Greek immigrants. In the 70s, more changes occurred with the arrival of Asian immigrants as well as the replacement of many houses on the south side of Dundas Street, just west of Greenwood Avenue with social housing. In 1975, Gerard Square opened to the public despite outspoken fears from Dan Fourth Avenue merchants that their livelihood would be threatened. The India Bazaar got its start in 1971 with the opening of the Now Theatre. Formerly known as the Eastwood Theatre, which was established in 1927, the Nows featured many Bollywood movies. The area flourished into a thriving South Asian community as well as a tourist destination. William and Phyllis Hawkins moved out of 12 Richard Avenue in 1986. The house was sold to Stephen Lorenowitz, then transferred to Frank and Suzanne Lorenowitz. Frank was a construction worker who bought the house as an investment. He and his wife never lived in the house, but rather rented it to Lisa Gaynor and her brother Eric Gaynor. Eric moved out first, and then, after having lived at 12 Richard for 14 years, Lisa moved with her partner Brad to Australia where they were married. The house was then sold in 2000 to Hugh Doc Tran and Thie Jian Ho, who lived there until 2003. The house then was bought in 2003 by Robin Burgoyne, who lived there with her partner Matthias Mayer, their dog Anto, and their cat Not a Dog. Shortly after moving in, Robin found $1,400 in new 1988 bills lying in a small change purse in the back garden. To this day, she still wonders which of the former occupants or neighbors left it there.